Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot elementary OS 7 and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and go to the official website of elementary OS. So once you have downloaded the elementary OS ISO file go to another tab and search for Rufus and go to the official website. Download the latest version of Rufus. And once you have downloaded the both files, close your web browser and insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please be sure to make a backup of your pen drive data because it will be lost. And once you have done that, open your downloads directory and open Rufus. Now select your ISO file which we just downloaded earlier. For the partition scheme, select GPT and click on start. This process is going to take some time so I'm just going to fast forward this part. So this process is finally completed. Now close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now once disk management is opened. You need to select any local disk with enough space, right click on it and select shrink volume. Now allocate at least of 30 GB of free space for elementary OS. And now once you have done that, close disk management and now it's time to reboot into the elementary OS USB now while your PC is starting press F2 key to enter the BIOS setup to disable secure boot here are the steps for my SS laptops but yours might be different so please look it up and disable secure boot and after disabling secure boot, press F10 key to save the changes and exit. And while your computer is starting again and showing the motherboard logo, press the escape key or F12 key to enter the boot selection menu and select the option which says USB. Now it will start to boot from the elementary OS USB device and it will take a while to load up the installer so please be patient. So finally we have the installer for the elementary OS. So first of all we need to select our language and then our keyboard layout. So I'm just going to select English and US. Now this is the most important step of the installation. You need to be very careful and you need to select the option which says custom advanced. Now click on modify partitions and it will load up Gparted and after that locate the free space which we created on windows and select new now allocate about 1 gb of space and make sure the file system is fat32 and click on add after that click on the free space again and this time set the remaining space as it is and make sure that the file system is ext4 and click on add Now make the changes and wait for a while and then close Gparted. Now it will refresh the partitions and you will see a yellow partition and a green partition. Now select the yellow partition and use this partition as slash boot slash EFI. And after that select the green partition and use this partition as forward slash which is root partition. Now click on erase and install. This process is going to take some time so I'm just going to fast forward the video. So finally the installation process is completed. Now you need to click on restart device. And after that it will ask you to remove the USB and press enter so just do what it says.
Now every time you start your computer you should see a grub menu to select between the operating systems. So for now I'm just going to choose elementary OS. So I'm just going to quickly complete the quick setup of elementary OS. So as you can see we have installed elementary OS successfully. Now let's try to reboot into windows to check if our windows is working or not. So as you can see our windows is also working just fine. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.